Welcome back to my hike across Scotland. We are just finishing the John Muir Way right now. Well, later we're going to be catching up with the West Highland Way and then the Great Glen Way. Hey, welcome back to Scotland. I'm uh, on the final leg, segment 12 of my John Muir Trail. So that means we have 10 miles left and I'm in the town of Belloch. I'm heading to Helensburgh and I got about 10 miles left, so I've done 125 miles so far. Belloch is, is a pretty sleepy town, except for their aquarium. Uh, I, obviously, there's probably some more things here, but the trail makes us go through the aquarium grounds. And this is what they are. Our first big challenge is right behind the aquarium, that big hill, Gauk Hill, something to that effect. And we'll be ascending that. And then we've got a little valley behind it and a little hill and then down to Helensboro. So, although it is a short day, we do have our instructions laid out in front of us. And when we get up there, let's hope that the cloud ceiling goes a little higher so we can get better views. All right, let me tell you a story. We are climbing up the mountain here. And this, sorry, the government calls it Stony Mullen. The locals call it Coffin Road, which is the original use of this pathway. So Coffin Road was the, uh, this was the path that they used to take coffins up to sacred ground up here somewhere. And so story has it that at the top of this, there's a flat rock that you, the, the people carrying the coffin all this way would rest once they got to the top and put the coffin on the flat rock. And uh, to add a little local flair, the theory, the th thinking is that the whiskey and sandwiches were kept inside the coffin for easy access once they got up to the top here. So there's a little fun piece of local mythology as you're looking at this beautiful Scottish land. Good morning from Loch Lomond. Look at this view. You know, you can tell it's uh, sunny and warm here in Scotland. That's what this weather is. But that view with the clouds, low ceiling there, that is pretty excellent. So we are making our way up to the top of the hill here. And you might be able to see that horse down there. There's two horses there. So, you know, I'm from Chicago originally, right? This is uh, unworldly to me. They're Scottish and it's a dad and his girl. And it's the first time a girl's been on a horse, it looks like she's being uh, toured and he's taking photos. <laughs> and I was just in the way the whole time for this great view. Uh, so we had to we had to share the mountaintop. Thanks for joining in for my trek coast to coast, east to west across Scotland on the John Muir Way. 136 total miles, 10 different segments. Ending with, you know, views like this. We're going to have views of the Firth of Clyde, the Clyde Bay, when we get up here. That's where Helensburgh is, and that's the bay that John Muir and his family jumped on a seaworthy boat to the United States. And he made history in the United States with Yosemite and the National Park System after a small stint in Wisconsin. And that is a quick history lesson on John. Welcome back to Scotland. Look at that Loch Lomond. And that's all the um, natural park area, national park area. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is a completely different hike. Uh, you know, we just haven't had a hike like this. It's been, I, I've loved it. <clears throat> there is some cement coming out of Belloch. Uh, going uphill, but and quick, quickly turns into trail. And if you can see, kind of straight ahead, we got more clear cutting. So this is a country that still does, you know, some clear cutting. But there is definitely land management practices. They're replanting. So probably another generation before they get this to the more acceptable levels. But. In the meantime, at least there's something. Wow. 
Oh boy, that is just gorgeous. And what's fascinating right now is, you know, to the left, we can't see it because the pines, but just skirting along the edge of this next hill here, uh, you can you can see the Clyde and uh, Helensboro. So it's all within it's all within reach. Oh, look at that! <laughs> all right, good time to turn on the camera. Use your 360 download your high resolution version because this is pretty darn good. Out uh, straight ahead, you can't see it. Unfortunately, can't see it, but is Ben. Lamond, and that is uh, one of the Monroe's, one of the high mountains here, one of the 140 some odd high mountains that they have here in Scotland. And uh, people go around the country climbing them, just like the 14ers in Colorado. Our first look at Helensboro. If you can see, it's right, uh, you know, there's water right down there in the valley, and that is the Clyde. And the land smooths out as you head look west. Pretty soon it gets so smooth it becomes the ocean. This is Drake Glenway. It's high noon in Scotland. Clearly it looks like it. What a better time of day <laughs> uh, to bring out the beautiful subtle shades of green. You know, this country, I mean, there's so much rain all the time. I don't understand how this can't be some kind of a rainforest. You know, the Olympia Peninsula, that's a rainforest. I didn't, I didn't think uh, latitude would define that. Somebody look that up and uh, put it in the comments, please. What is the definition of a rainforest? And I mean, look at that. Why isn't this considered a rainforest? Such beautiful greens. Well, I think this is going to be our last best look at Loch Lomond until we're on the West Highland, which is going to be on the other side. So we'll be looking back at this mountain, and right now we're looking at the mountain that we're going to be hiking next. Hey, welcome to the finish line. We're in Helensburg. This is the Clyde, the Firth of Clyde. And uh, somewhere around here is the finish, is the actual plaque and everything. I'm, gonna try. Ah, I'm so excited to be done. It's, I mean, it's an accomplishment. I'm, and what a great day. Now this is cracking. This is a cracking day. I still haven't found the official finish line. I think it's uh, back at the beginning of the block, but this is much more what I'm here for anyway. Oh, it's just, I love seaports. I don't know why I should have had another life in a seaport. Just love the whole title action. So here I am, 136 miles later, coast to coast. I got to learn a lot about Scotland. Uh, the stories I've had with the people have just been fantastic. I really, you know, I, I am writing this up, so you know, take a check um, on my bio and grab a link and and find the book because. Um, there's some great stories, and I'm really excited. Of course, I'll be writing about the West Highland Way and the Great Glen Way as well, so get a three for, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So this was a great segment hike. Through hike, not so much. Segment hike, absolutely. And I would, I would do, and I would tell people to do this uh, segment by segment. There's some really great stuff, and like I say, again, just getting to know the people in some of the small towns, little little Linlithgow, uh, just a special place in my heart for that place. I really enjoyed my time there, um, and of course, you know North Berwick, Edinburgh, Dunbar, uh, here in Helensburg. I, I assume I will have a great time in the next 24 hours before heading back to back back, back to, but for the first time, Glasgow. Spent two days in Glasgow. So this is what happens at the end zone. The sun comes out. It's a cracking day. Everything, all troubles disappear. So here I am at the John Muir finish line. This is the big wheel. And I ran into a woman who 
told me that the tradition is you're supposed to step into the wheel when you're when you're starting or when you're finished in bare feet so i am starting and or finishing <laughs> underfoot over her overhead underfoot overhead so there we go look at this i'm finishing in my bare feet ah and we got some more of this beautiful town I'm pretty excited. I hope it shows. I am still a little tired, but uh, today was a, a day that was comfortable for hiking and um, I completed it uh, and the sun came out and here we are. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for following me across Scotland. I got two more hikes to go, so don't go away. Make sure you subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the future. For now, the end of John Muir Way. 136 miles across Scotland from the east coast to the west coast. Next up is the West Highland Way.